Since Area 51 has been shrouded in secrecy for many years, it is only natural that the rumors about alien secrets housed within the distant desert location would acquire a new lease on life in this day and age of social media. Before we continue to our video, subscribe to our channel right away. The internet has been taken over by memes related to Area 51, which were initially sparked by a hoax event on Facebook to seize control of the top secret military installation and free the alleged extraterrestrials hidden within. The demonstration, which will take place on September 20 and is titled Storm Area 51, they can't stop all of us has already garnered the participation of 1.5 million individuals as of this writing. At the Southern Nevada military facility, people have claimed to have seen unidentified flying objects, UFOs, as long back as the 1950s. On June 17, 1959, the Reno Evening Gazette published a story with the headline, More Flying Objects Seen in Clark Sky. The story described how it Sisji. Wayne Anderson of the local sheriff's office was among several locals to spot what the paper described as an object bright green in color and descending toward the earth at a speed too great to be an airplane. The object was described as being too fast to be an airplane. The United States Central Intelligence Agency CIA, claims that covered flight testing has been going on in the region ever since the military started testing U-2 CIA spy planes in 1955. This was around the same time that reports of UFO sightings started to come out. Despite this, the news has not done much to dispel the otherworldly speculations that have long surrounded the mysterious site. Find out everything there is to know about the history of Area 51, including the reason why over a million people want to see them aliens. The creation of the U-2 reconnaissance plane had a decisive impact on the beginning of the Area 51 project. Following the conclusion of World War II, the Soviet Union pulled down the Iron Curtain that had been surrounding it and the rest of the Eastern Bloc. This effectively blocked the rest of the world from receiving any new information. As early as June 1950, when the Soviet Union provided support for North Korea's invasion of South Korea, it was becoming increasingly obvious that the Kremlin would aggressively expand its sphere of influence. Only 10 years had passed since the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor, and the United States was still concerned about the Soviet Union's capabilities in the areas of technology, intentions, and the capacity to conduct a surprise attack. What exactly is the Area 51? Even though it goes by its official name, the Nevada Test and Training Range at Groom Lake, the United States Air Force operates a high-security open training range in southern Nevada known as Area 51. Despite this, the location is shrouded in secrecy. Dr. Jeffrey T. Richelson, a senior fellow at the George Washington University National Security Archive, submitted a Freedom of Information Act request in 2005 for information on the CIA's Lockheed O2 plane reconnaissance program. This program involved the covert construction and testing of spy planes that were used to gather intelligence. In August 2013, the general public learned that Area 51 officially existed. The request compelled the Central Intelligence Agency CIA, to declassify records about the history of the U-2 and a 12 OXCRT program, as well as the military base known as Area 51, which was the location where the planes were built and tested. There certainly was not, as you would expect, any discussion of little green men here, Richelson, who passed away in 2017, said to the New York Times in 2013. A history of the U-2 is presented here. The only topic that is covered twice is the investigation into the UFO sightings and the U-2 flights. The fact that you had these high-flying aircraft in the air could have been the reason for some of the sightings. Richelson, according to Malcolm Byrne, the deputy director and director of research at the National Security Archive, effectively addressed the mystery that surrounded Area 51 in an indirect manner. I don't think Richelson was going after Area 51 specifically, it's just that, as often happens in these things, there's serendipity and so material gets released that has things that are interesting for other people, said Richelson. I'm sorry to disappoint you. What exactly is this raid that is being planned? Jackson Barnes, who claims to have invented the joke event, outlines his tongue-in-cheek strategy to attack Area 51 in a post that has been posted to the page of the event on Facebook. It includes consuming monster energy drinks, Kyle's, which is the name given to people on the internet who are white males and boys who have anger issues who punch drywall, and running the Naruto route, which is based on a Japanese anime show. Barnes states that then the rock throwers will throw pebbles at the inevitable resistance. We don't want to hurt them, we just want to annoy them enough to not shoot the Kyles as often. But he makes it quite plain that he does not advocate for this plan actually coming to fruition. This is a joke, and I have no intention of actually carrying out this strategy. I am addressing the United States government. I merely thought it would be humorous, and I hoped it would earn me some thumbs up votes on the internet. One and a half million individuals from all around the world have signed up to participate in the raid, and the event has sparked a meme that has gone on to become extremely popular. 
Even the popular rapper Lil Nas X has come up with a new music video for his smash single Old Town Road, which includes cowboys invading Area 51. What kind of reaction has the government given to the raid? A representative for the United States Air Force has confirmed to multiple news organizations that the military branch is aware of the preparations to raid Area 51 and is vehemently opposed to the idea. In a statement released on Monday, an Air Force spokeswoman said, any attempt to illegally access the area is highly discouraged, which was also shared with numerous other media sites. According to statements made by Air Force spokeswoman Laura McAndrews to the Washington Post, Area 51 is an open training range for the United States Air Force. We would discourage anyone from trying to come into the area where we train American armed forces, the spokesperson said. The United States Air Force is always ready to protect the nation of the United States and its assets. In response to a magazine's request for comment, the Air Force did not immediately provide a response. Why is it that Area 51 has become the focus of so many ideas about government cover-ups? What test cheat? Anderson reported seeing a UFO in 1959 to the Reno Evening Gazette. Which is now known as the Reno Gazette Journal, the outlet also reported that the Nellis Air Force Base, which is located approximately 130 miles south of Area 51, had received two previous reports in the past three weeks of UFO sightings. These allegations surfaced within a few years after rumors of an unidentified flying object, UFO, landing in Roswell, New Mexico in 1947. The Roswell Army Airfield later stated that the incident actually involved a weather balloon. In 1947, the Air Force initiated what would become known as Project Blue Book, an investigation into reports of alleged encounters of unidentified flying objects. By the time the Air Force finally shut down the Project Blue Book in 1969, they had already looked into more than 12,000 claims. During this time, residents of Southern Nevada continued to report seeing unidentified flying objects, UFOs, which in hindsight, were most likely sightings of the top-secret surveillance planes that were being manufactured nearby. Despite this, ever since then, people's imaginations have been running wild. Additionally, references to Area 51 have made their way into popular culture, including in films such as Independence Day and Paul. In addition to that, it was the impetus for episodes of The Twilight Zone and The X-Files, as well as The Scooby-Doo and The Alien Invaders, a straight-to-video movie that was somewhat less legendary. Share your feedback with us in the comments and subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos.